If I told you that this one Switch cartridge has hundreds of my games on it, would you believe me? You might, if you've already heard of the MIG Switch. By using the dumper, that's right, it's, it's called a dumper, I can take any Switch game and dump the files right onto this cartridge. A cartridge that you just slot straight into your Switch. At the touch of a little button that's located on top of the cart, it'll change to the next game. And then if you wanna change back without even having to take it out, we're back to the original game. You can fit hundreds of games on this cartridge, as many as you want. And it is legal if you do it legally. I really debated making this video though, because uh, Nintendo has been taking down MIG Switch videos and content, and that's because it's really easy to abuse something like this. That's never been my intention. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to take a Switch game that you have physical and move it over to this cartridge. But before that, I'm gonna show you how to make quick and delicious meals in just two minutes. Because factors back, baby. <laughs> when it comes to my food, I want one thing and one thing only options. And that's exactly why Factor offers over 35 wholesome meals every week. You'll find something to match your lifestyle. I've been going through a series of different diets over the years of eating Factor, and I've used keto at times, calorie smart at times. Now I'm on protein plus because it's fall and winter and I'm starting to bulk up. They even have heckin' protein shakes. <laughs> Cold brew latte. You kidding me? You pissing me? Factor delivers fresh, nutritious, chef-prepared meals straight to your doorstep. And the best part is, it only takes a couple minutes to heat one up and start eating. Romano shredded chicken? Oh, that might be the one I eat now. The other day, I completely redid my game room. I have been cleaning the house all day, and Kim's not home, and I just realized we had no food. <laughs> and I came out to the fridge in the garage, opened it up to get a drink, and I saw Factor. It's so good. It tastes just as good as if I had cooked it. And I cook for myself all the time. I look like crap. Honestly, my favorite part of the whole day. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code BEATEMUPS50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next month's box. I know. Thank me later. That's beatemups50 at factor75.com. 50% off your first box, 20% off your next month or I mean, what more do you want? So to start, it has an SD card inside that you will have to get your own. So I'm gonna stick that into an SD card adapter and then put that adapter into my PC. Then I'm gonna take the MIG switch dumper. I'm gonna open up Loop Hero, put Loop Hero into the dumper, put that into my computer. Now you can see it's already, it knows it's a game card. And then this USB drive is gonna be where my other files are. I've actually only put two games on it so far. I haven't got too crazy with it yet. So this file here is what we're gonna need, the XCI off of my game cart. And we're just gonna take that and we're gonna copy it over to the SD card. And in literally just a few seconds, it's gonna be done. This feels, I'm not gonna lie, dirty. I feel dirty. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't feel right to do any of this. But let me tell you why what I'm doing is legal. Cause I've bought specifically this copy of Loop Hero, which has a specific serial code that's tied to this copy of the game. And I'm running it on something else. I'm playing it on something else. It's my copy. As long as I don't upload it, share it, sell it, give it to other people, nothing I'm doing is illegal. I'm just playing the game that I bought. All right, so that's already done. So now I'm going to put the SD card back into this MIG switch. And theoretically now there should be three games on this cartridge that I can switch between. Looks like it's still loading up Cyberpunk. So let me hit this switch. And we're gonna talk about this switch because oh boy, it sucks. Loop Hero, there you go. Just like that, I've added Loop Hero into the rotation of games so that I can play like this. Here's why I like, and why I even bought the MIG Switch. And by the way, I bought it in March. I bought it March 15th and it only just showed up. It's why I'm so late to making this video. I could only make it so soon, I, I didn't have the thing. Some people that ordered just the cartridge without the dumper got theirs earlier, but I specifically wanted the dumper because I'm not downloading them illegally. I need it for my own purpose of taking my games and putting them on the cartridge. For example, I recently went to London. You might have seen that vlog. It's actually where I bought Loop Hero. And when I went, I took my case 
filled with 10 games in it. I have ADHD for one, and I don't want to get bored on a plane. So I take all my games, which then makes this case worth several hundred dollars. And then if I lose this case, I lose everything. So my thinking is why not just put my whole library onto one cartridge? That way, if I lose that one cartridge, I'm only losing $60. Also, I'm not really attached to this cartridge, but if I lose my actual copy of Tears of the Kingdom, the one that I bought and played for the first time, it has sentimental value. I'm going to be way more sad about that. I guess while we're sat here, we may as well throw another game on. All right, let's try it with Pokemon Scarlet. See how long it takes to do a larger game. So again, when I'm just taking my own games that I've already paid for with my license keys, there's nothing wrong with this. Again, where it gets tricky is if you want to be more nefarious, and take files from online and put them on this cartridge because there's nothing stopping you from doing that. And it's funny because now, as an adult, I have a problem with that. Because growing up, I had a DS. I remember one of the coolest moments in my actual life. <laughs> I'd had a DS for a while, but I didn't have many games because we couldn't afford many games. And then all of a sudden, I had this R4 card, and now all of a sudden I had an entire library of games for my DS. It was a ma it was a miracle. It was a miracle of science. And I never once thought about any kind of legal ramifications or if it was a. I did not care in the slightest. But now as an adult, having what is essentially the exact same thing, this is an R4 card for a Switch. I'm looking at it and I'm taking my files off my games, and I'm like, should I be doing this? This isn't even. Been taking that long. It's uh, it's already at 12% and I just started it. I wasn't doing larger games because I figured they would take forever. Now here's the issue you'll run into if you do decide to be a dirty pirate. Because these games have serial codes and your switches connect to the internet, Nintendo can see and it will flag if the same serial code for a game is being pinged on all these different switches across America and worldwide, especially if you're going online. Let's say you pirate a copy of Splatoon three and 50 other people are using that same copy and they're all logging in online it's gonna ping nintendo pretty quickly and you're at risk of getting your nintendo switch account banned and just hard locked losing everything that you have on there which is another reason and i can't stress this enough why i would never ever ever illegally pirate a game this is my main switch i do not want anything happening to this and all of the games that i've bought over the years so i'm not risking that at all. I paid $125. It was 60 for the cart, and then I think another 60 for the dumper. It also took forever to ship, like I said, but now that I have it, I will say the actual putting games on this thing couldn't be easier. I thought I would struggle because I'm not good with stuff like this. The thing that I'll say is useless is this button on the top. So the original model of the MIG Switch cart, you would put the cart into your Switch and it would load up the first game. Then if you wanted to switch to the second game, you would click it out, you'd take the cartridge out and then click it back in and it would automatically load to the next game. This was an issue purely because if you had 300 games on your MIG Switch and you wanted to get to game 250, you have to click it in and out 250 times. Just a huge pain in the ass. So their solution to that was to release this version of the cartridge, which seemingly just gets sent out at random. I don't know who qualifies for getting this, but I got it. Their solution was to put a little button on the top. A short press of the button will go ahead one, and a long press will go back one. Still cumbersome, but a little less cumbersome, and at least that way you can uh, go backwards. However, the issue is, you might see I've been using a pair of metal pliers to hit the button, which I'm now realizing how dangerous it is having me metal pliers and a switch, but I think I'm okay this time. The issue is if I try and press it with my finger, it just comes out and it doesn't register the button press. So the only way I found to actually do this is to apply pressure to the back of the cartridge with one finger so that it doesn't move too much and get something pointy and then push down specifically on this button until it clicks and then let it go. It works, but almost every time it comes back out anyway, and I just have to click it back in and then it'll rotate to the the next game. It doesn't work. The button does not work. It's way more effort than if I could just click in and click out. As excited as I was at first to get the button version of this cartridge, I really wish I had the click in click out version because mine doesn't do that and it takes so long. All right, so during my rant, Pokemon Scarlet has finished transferring to the MIG switch. I take both of those out. I take out the SD card, put it into the MIG switch, and then into my switch, Pokemon Scarlet. Again, just to show you that this is my MIG switch. This is not. Oh, it's gonna need a 
it, it's got it's gonna need an update. That's the MIG switch and the dumper and how easy it is to use. It turns your switch into a DS with an R4 card. You can fit every single switch game that you have onto one cartridge and it only takes a few seconds and as long as you're just taking your own games and putting them onto the cartridge it's completely legal. Also another benefit of buying physical games this whole time. Well I guess if I was buying them digitally just realizing now if I was buying them digitally they'd already be on the console downloadable to an SD card which is essentially just what I'm doing. The only difference is when I download them from the eShop they go to this SD card right here in the back. When I do it this way, they're just going to a different SD card. I don't know how much I'm going to keep transferring things to this MIG switch. I'm also very lazy. The concept of doing something like this is more exciting to my ADHD riddled brain than actually sitting down and consistently keeping up with it. It's also just something I wanted to check out. I do feel, uh, bad. I, I I can't, I don't know why. I don't know why. Me taking a Switch game and looking at its internals on my PC feels so wrong and feels like I shouldn't be doing it. I know that it's all fine, but even having said that, I feel like there's something I'm overlooking and Nintendo is going to get upset with me anyway. I can't stress enough that this has been a somewhat tutorial, but not really how to, but not really video on just how to take the games that you've bought and transfer them to an SD card. I do not recommend recommend doing it in any other way because you will more than likely get your account banned and also you didn't buy those games. And I really don't stand for that. And to finish my thought from earlier, the reason why I have an issue with doing a R4 DS now as an adult who has money, there are developers that worked hard on all of the games that you play. There are people that poured hours and hours into creating a product and the idea of just getting it for free and not supporting them really bothers me for a lot of reasons. I think it should bother anyone one anyway, but it bothers me even more so because I create content online and people that use ad blocker or find ways to consume my content without giving me any of that uh, revenue. It's frustrating and I definitely don't want to turn it around and do it to another creator, especially to a creator who does something actually really cool like make video games that I love and enjoy. Maybe years down the line, you know, when the Switch is considered more retro, I would definitely be more interested in modding my console and picking up or downloading games that uh, I never played before that maybe I can't even buy legally at that point. There's arguments around games like Sonic Advance. There's no way of actually legally buying that game right now, so the creators of the game won't see a penny for it if there's no online shop or way to buy it. Morality-wise, is downloading it wrong? I don't think so. Legally, is it wrong? Technically, yes, it's still wrong. <laughs> All right, that's gonna take like 35 minutes to boot up. Just to end this video, I'll go ahead and actually boot up up one of these games. I'll try and loop this, I should say, back around a loop here. And you'll see what I mean with how hard it is to hit this damn button. Oh, I did it. Yes. I did it without it popping out. And there she goes. Loop Hero. This Loop Hero, the one that I'm holding in my hand, is currently booting up on my Switch. This specific copy of Loop Hero. Kind of bizarre, isn't it? So that's the MIG Switch. I was excited to make this video, even though people have talked about this thing to death already, because I felt like there would be a lot of people in my audience that hasn't heard of it. And growing up, if you were like me, and you had something like an R4 on your DS, where you could play every game on one, it was exciting to think that I could do that on the Switch. And I thought a lot of you might like that as as well. I would love to know your thoughts on this though. Even though technically what I'm doing here is legal and I would say even moral, I would be interested to hear if you have a different opinion on that. You can let me know down below. I'm not taking any kind of stance here and I honestly don't care what you do. There are people that aren't in the position that I'm in to be able to have a wall of Switch games behind me. If you feel like what you want to do is get games however you want to get them, power to you. I don't care. Just please don't get caught. <laughs> I think you can also get the dumper on AliExpress for cheaper now, like a knockoff version of it. There's actually other versions of the MIG Switch out there too. It's not the only one. Like, comment, subscribe. It's almost Switch 2 time, baby.